In this tutorial video, we want to look at how to find stationary distributions of discrete time mark of chains in R. Okay, so first we would like to clear all our working environment and graphics using this code of line. And next thing is to load this required package that is the mark of chain package. If you don't have this installed, you can click on packages and click on install, type in the name mark of chain, and make sure that you are connected to the internet to complete the installation. So once you're done with the installation, you have to load this package using the library function. So I'm going to run this. All right, so I'll double run it. So now let's take an example. So we are going to use this example. We have already seen this from our previous tutorial, okay? So from our previous example, we consider the two-state discrete time mark of chain as a model for rainfall in a certain town. The one-step transition probability matrix is given below where W denotes wet day and D denotes dry day. So we want to find the proportion of wet days in the long run, okay? We try solving this manually and we obtain the following results. So the proportion of wet days in the long run was two out of three and the proportion of dry days in the long run was one out of three. So in this tutorial video, we just want to learn how to use the software to get similar results. How do we use the software to find stationary distributions, okay? So let's jump into our studio. So um, the first thing I wanna do is to create an, our transition probability matrix, okay? So let me highlight this. So let me go back to the slides. So basically, we want to um, define this or simulate this transition probability metric. So we are going to move by row. So we are picking this value 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6. So that's basically what we have here. So by row is true, and the number of rows to be two. So that by default, the number of columns will also be two. So let me execute this, control enter. So let me see the result. So it's taking some time to run the set metrics before I proceed. Oh, yeah, so here we go. So we can see the metrics now. So the next thing is to add the current state and the future state, okay? So we are going to make use of a new function. I'm assigning everything this to TP, which stands for transition probability. So um, making use of the new function, we are calling the package mark of chain and the transition matrix is M. That's what we have here. And the state now is W for wet day and D for dry day. I'm giving it a name DTMC. You can choose to give it a different name. So let's execute this, control enter. So here we go, we have now simulated a transition probability matrix, right, this one. So now the next thing is how do we find the stationary distributions? So we are going to make use of the steady state function. Okay, so this function will help us to um, know the proportion of wet days or dry days that the mark of change springs in each state as the number of transition becomes very large, okay? So let me execute this, control enter, or you can click on this to run. All right, so here we go. So let's try and compare the results. So we can see that um, the proportion of white days in the long run is two out of three which is similar to 0 0.6, right? And 0 0.333, the proportion of dry days in the long run, which is similar to one out of three, okay? So this is basically how to um, find stationary distributions of a discrete time mark of chains in R, please. If you find value in today's tutorial video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not, and thank you for watching.